This is a struggle that all dog owners will know to some degree. Even a dog who loves to swim in open water might still freak out when it's time for a bath. This might seem strange. Why would an energetic, usually featherless animal be afraid of a harmless bathtub? Well, first of all, dogs who like swimming are able to enjoy this activity because of the freedom, whereas a bathtub is an enclosed place, which combined with the feeling of being engulfed by water might be an overwhelming feeling for your dog. Plus, they're often held in place by their owner. Imagine if you were in a tiny swimming pool that was getting filled with water and someone bigger and stronger than you was holding you down so you couldn't move. That sounds pretty terrifying, right? Your dog may certainly feel this way, but the good news is you're not alone. Even if your dog reacts to bath water like it was a vat of acid, you can still turn this painstaking activity into a fun bonding session because bathing is not only a way to keep your pup smelling fresh and clean, it's also important for their skin health. So keep watching for tricks for easing your pup into bath time. First things first, the preparation. A little planning will go a long way towards making sure the experience is smooth for both you and your pet. When you bathe your dog, you want your pet to associate it with something they like. So before heading into the room of doom, bring a toy or a special treat. You can give your dog the toy or treats as a post bath reward or even during the course of the washing session. You'll also want to choose a special dog shampoo and conditioner. The shampoo is important for several reasons. Just like a human baby, your dog doesn't know when to keep her eyes closed, which means a bit of product will inevitably get into their eyes. For this reason, your dog shampoo should be formulated in a way that doesn't sting their eyes. Because as challenging as this process is, it shouldn't have to be painful as well. The other thing to watch out for are ingredients that are gentle on the skin. Some dog shampoos can cause health problems for dogs such as allergies, skin irritation, or even digestive tract issues. Of course, you should never use human shampoo on your pets as this can cause skin reactions. But even specialized dog shampoos can have adverse effects, so pay extra attention to the labels. Your best bet will be to talk with your vet before buying any sort of dog shampoo. They'll be able to recommend gentle, effective products. You'll also want to bring a shower mat for the bottom of the tub. After all, slipping and sliding in the tub is not only annoying for you as the groomer, it can also give your pup extra anxiety because a feeling of slippery disorientation isn't great, especially in combination with all of the other anxiety provoking stimuli. Of course, the mat will give you more control of your pet while washing, meaning you'll struggle less. And a calmer human will hopefully mean a calmer pup. First of all, Check the temperature of the water to make sure it's not too hot or too cold. If the temperature isn't right, your pup may get scared and try and hop out of the tub. Now, if you have a dog with an extremely long, thick coat that sheds a lot, make sure to give their coat a thorough brush through before starting the bath. Once in the tub, avoid immediately soaking your dog with running water. Doing so could cause anxiety. Instead, begin washing your dog with a wet washcloth. Then use some gentle running water over the neck and head to rinse all of the shampoo and conditioner out of their hair. Keep your dog's nose pointed up so that water doesn't get in your pet's eyes. Use a towel to thoroughly dry off your pet once they're out of the tub. You'll want them completely dry, so use a blow dryer on the cool or warm setting. Just make sure your dog is used to the sound first. When you blow dry your own hair in the morning, see if you can get your pet in the bathroom with you. That way it won't be such a surprise when you use the dryer on your dog's hair. Once you've completely dried your pet, they might seem eager to get outside. Before this happens, Brush your dog's fur while they're still in the bathroom. It will be a lot easier to clean up loose fur when it's in a confined space. Afterward, let your dog run outside for as long as they like. If you don't have a yard, get the leash and take your clean pup for a walk. How often should you bathe your dog? A lot of factors go into determining how often you should bathe your dog. These include how often the dog goes outside, your pup's coat type, and more. In general, the longer the coat, the more often the dog will need a bath. But there are exceptions. Some short-haired dogs or breeds that don't have any hair actually need to be bathed every week in order to keep their skin healthy. Most dogs, however, should have a bath at least every four to six weeks with regular brushing in between. If a dog has an active lifestyle, they may get dirtier faster, and this will mean more baths. Dogs who are mainly indoor pets may not need to be bathed as often. Regardless of how often you bathe your dog, do what you can to stick to a good grooming schedule. Regular bathing and brushing will help preserve the natural oils in your dog's coat, keeping your dog's hair looking its best. Just don't do it too often. Bathing too much could actually strip those natural oils from your dog's skin. If you're not sure how much you should bathe your pup, ask your vet. When bathing is too difficult, 
Call a groomer or know when it's time to see the veterinarian. Even small dogs can be a handful when it comes to bath time. Something as seemingly as simple as bathing a puppy can be a lot more than some pet owners can handle. There are also, as you can see, a lot of things you need to consider before you put your dog in the tub. Trying to bathe your dog might be more work than you're willing to do. If that's the case, there's no shame in calling in a professional. That may relieve a lot of stress and you'll know your pet is in good hands. Don't be hesitant to ask if the groomer is certified and licensed. Hopefully, your dog will be able to overcome any bath time anxiety and regular baths will no longer be a problem. But even in this case, visiting a groomer can be a nice refresher for your pup, like getting a deep clean for your house or apartment every few months. Besides, many groomers will also trim your dog's nails. You can always confirm which specific services your groomer will provide, especially if you're looking for something specific. Hopefully this video will help reduce anxiety for both you and your pup when it comes to bath time. If you have any questions on this topic or anything else related to pet behavior, let me know in the comments.